Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have the same problem we had on the previous video, but we're going to look at it graphically because we want to understand the relationship between the heat transfer and the difference in temperature. So here we have our equation that dQ dt is equal to Ka over L times delta T. Now K is the heat conductivity coefficient, A is the cross-sectional area, L is the length of the heat conductivity path, so that would be this L right here. And A is, of course, the cross-sectional area. NK is the conductivity co uh, coefficient. And the difference in the temperature is simply the difference between the source and the sink. So this would be the source, this is the hot, and that would be the sink, which is therefore the cold. And heat will then transfer. And notice that since K, A, and L are all constants, the only thing that can change here is the difference in the temperature. And so therefore, dQ dt is proportional to the difference in the temperature. As the difference gets smaller, as T2 heats up, then the heat transfer will become smaller as well, and it will be proportional. There's that linear dependency. And so if we then calculate the heat transfer at various differences in the temperature, for example, when we start out at T2 being 20 degrees centigrade, at T equals zero, then the difference is 80 degrees, or 80 centigrade degrees, and then the heat conductivity will cause 3,850 joules of heat to transfer every second, which is 3,850 watts. As the difference in temperature decreases to only 60 degrees, the heat transfer now drops to 2888 basically watts. When it's down to 40 degree difference, now the heat transfer happens at 1925 watts. At 20 degree difference, you're down to 962. And when the difference stops, when there's no difference, the difference is zero, then of course the heat conductivity stops as well. And no heat will transfer across the path. So this then depicts the linear relationship between the the dQ dt, the amount of heat being transferred, and the difference in the temperature. As the difference goes to zero, so does the dQ dt. Notice when we're talking about conductivity along a path, then the relationship between the heat transfer and the different temperature is linear. That will not be the same when we look at the dQ dt of an object that radiates out the energy rather than conducts it along a path. We'll see a different relationship there. But that's how it's done when we talk about the conductivity along a path.